Watch out for this. Watch out. I'm going to assume that you have some big goal that you're working towards. And if you don't, you need to find one. It needs to be a really big, unrealistic goal. This video is not about how to acquire that goal. Again, I'm assuming you have it. If you don't, just know that you can do anything in this world. 100%. Anything you want. But this video is not about how you can do anything in this world. This video is about how you need to be careful. And it's not because people are bad. I believe that there is good and bad in human beings. People are good and bad. But in general, most people have good intentions. Everyone in the world is just trying to do the best they can. We're just all trying to make it in this really hard world that we live in. But when you have a big dream, a dream that is bigger than you, something that is incredible and that you're working towards it and you're putting all your energy towards it, you're getting up early every day, you're working on it, you're making progress, maybe you're going to the gym every day and you're getting in shape, or maybe you're getting up early and studying physics or mathematics or, or reading poetry or, or writing your novel or applying for jobs, whatever it is you're doing, you're working on something, something big, and there's a danger. And the danger is when you tell other people about your big dreams, the reaction you get might not be one that is helpful to you as a human being. I, I will give you concrete examples that I have seen in other people and it's sad, and, and when you see it happen, you feel bad for the person, but you also realize that the person who said it did not do it intentionally. For example, a common situation is someone is trying to get in shape. You know, so they're going to the gym every day, so they lose a bunch of weight, and their friends and family are, well, you're looking really skinny there. Oh, but when you were overweight, they were telling you you were looking kind of big, right? So the point is, Human beings criticize. You will get criticized for your actions in life. You need to be tougher than that. You need to have a thick skin and have confidence in your abilities. Academics is another one. You know, sometimes people are told they aren't good enough or why are you studying so hard? You really shouldn't be even working on that. When I was a student, my friends they would try to get me to not study math. They would tell me, oh, you shouldn't be a math major. And I remember thinking, no, these guys are crazy. They were all engineering majors. I, I didn't think anything of it. I mean, they were, they were just giving me their opinion. That's fine, they were good people. But I could have taken that another way. I could have been like, oh, maybe they're right. Maybe I should change my major. No, believe in yourself, 100%. The big one is when you're chasing your big dreams, when you're trying to do something really big, and you tell people about it, a lot of times they'll say, you're crazy. People will call you crazy. They will. Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, he's talked about this, I think in his documentary or in some of his books, how people used to think he was crazy. They told him he was too big to be in the movies. And with his ridiculous accent, there is no way he would take off on American television. I mean, he had an accent. Americans wouldn't want to listen to that. He was too big and he had an accent. No, thank you. We don't want Arnold. That's, he was rejected. He was, he had a hard time with that. But he did not give up. And neither will you. You have to not listen to people who are trying to stop your dreams. You, you should hear what they're saying, but just don't don't take it to heart. Follow your path because it's your path. It's your life, right? That's really important. I think that a lot of people are living their lives because other people have a certain life they're living and they kind of want them to be a part of that. You know, and you just have to make sure that you're doing with your life 
what you want to do, not what someone else says, not what society is telling you to do. You need to learn to think for yourself and believe in yourself. It's really about believing in yourself and believing that you can do anything and believing that you're on the right path. Once you know that you're on the right path and you believe that you can do anything you want and you trust the process, don't let others take that away from you, okay? Don't, don't let anyone steal your thunder, steal your motivation, steal your desire to succeed because that's hard to get. A lot of people don't have it. And so if you're watching this video and you're working hard on something or you have some dream or some goal, don't let anyone take it from you and don't give up and don't lose it. And don't let others' comments bring you down. And again, people don't do it because they're bad. You know, it's just whenever you do something that is out of the ordinary, people are gonna say, that's crazy. And in order to do extraordinary things, you have to take extraordinary actions, right? And those actions are considered many times crazy by some. So what are you doing? Who cares? It's your life. So watch out, right? Watch out for that. Don't let anyone sidetrack you. If you are trying to learn mathematics, learn mathematics. Focus. Be present. Push out negative thoughts. Get up every morning and focus on one thing. That's how you do it. That's how you crush it at anything. At anything. I, I wanted to make this video because just the other day I, I saw this happen. You know, and I thought, I need to talk about this because I think that it happens to a lot of people. Right? Even, even people who are in school. You know, maybe you're, you're taking a class and... I don't know, maybe your friends aren't supportive or your parents aren't supportive. A lot of people don't have support in this world. And I'm here to tell you, it's okay. You need to believe in yourself and just know that your process is gonna work. Because if you keep working hard, honestly, eventually you will get there. And if you don't, you're probably gonna come really, really close and you'll probably be way better off than you are right now. I mean, that's the philosophy I always took in college. I always wanted to be the best. Was I always the best? No, 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 no. Sometimes, usually top five, top three, but the best, mm, sometimes. But when I fell short, I was still at the top. All right, so aim to be the best at whatever you're doing. Aim for the best thing you can in this world. Try to get everything you can out of life. Live your life 100%, my friends. Aim high, aim really high. Work like you can't fail and when you fail, you get back up again, you do it again. And don't let anyone bring you down or anyone destroy your dreams. Now sometimes your plans change. You have to be fluid, but you have to be fluid. You have to recognize your own weaknesses and your own strengths in, in this world. I know, I know what I'm not good at. Okay? I know what I'm okay at. I know my weaknesses, you need to, Recognize what your strengths and weaknesses are and use your strengths, use those to accomplish your dreams. Watch out. Don't let anyone take it away from you. So after this video, I want you to do one thing. This way you, you walk away from this video with something. I want you to go do one thing, one actionable thing. I want you to take an action, an action that will move you closer to whatever it is you're doing. So if you are studying physics, do a physics problem right now. If you're studying math, do a math problem right now, just one problem. I know it sounds crazy, but just sit down and do it. If you're looking for a job, look for jobs, apply for one job or start the application at least. Applying for jobs takes a while, uh, but if you have the stuff ready, do it. Take action today. Good luck.